Hi everyone, my name is Zara and welcome to my channel Believe Confidant. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to get rid of mealybugs on your indoor plants. Now, I've noticed a few weeks ago that my Calathea albifolia wasn't doing so well um, and I noticed that it had some white spots. And upon closer investigation, it became clear to me that unfortunately my Calathea albifolia was infested with mealybugs. Now, mealybugs can be super annoying because they spread from plant to plant, especially if your plants are next to each other. They like to, I don't know how they do it, but they jump or crawl over from one plant to another plant, and they can be quite annoying to get rid of. Some signs that may give a mealybug infestation away is that your plants start not doing so well. So that means that the leaves start going a bit yellow, like for example, this little leaf here has got a bit of a yellow tinge to the sides of it. Um, so that may be one sign. Um, also brown leaves and just in general, your plant not looking as healthy as and lush as what it was prior. Now what you want to look out for when you're checking whether your plant has been infested with mealybugs is a little white fluffy kind of dots. That's the mealybugs. Now what you need in order to get rid of mealybugs is first of all you need to give your plants a good shower. Um, I find washing the mealybugs off of the leaves and wiping the leaves down just gets rid of all of the mealybugs and then spraying it with a spray like for example one that I'm going to be using here is by Cecil, the Earth Care range. So in all of my videos so far and in all of my videos I'm going to be using products that are as environmentally friendly as possible. Now yes saying that this is still a pesticide so it's not 100% environmentally friendly but it is as environmentally friendly as possible. Now I know some people use neem oil as well to get rid of mealybugs but I've tried it before and here we are again I've got another mealybug infestation so this time I'm going in with an actual pest oil to try get rid of mealybugs for good. The annoying, another annoying thing with mealybugs is that they can be a reoccurring pest. So unless you get rid of every single mealybug on your plants, you are going to get a reoccurrence of mealybug infestations. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my Calathea albifolia out of its pretty little basket and I'm going to give it a shower so as to try and wash the mealybugs off as much as possible and then I'm going to come back and take you through the next steps. So I've just given my albifolia a little hose down in the shower. So I've wet all the leaves and I've just left the calathea in the bathtub to soak off for the moment just to get rid of as much water as possible. So in the meantime, we're going to prepare our surface and prepare everything that we need. So you will want a little plate or a saucer for your pot to sit in whilst you're doing this. You will also want on hand to have your pest oil. You will also want some earbuds. These come in really handy when you're trying to get in between the leaves and the little crevices in between your plants. Also what you want is some paper towels to both dry off the leaves but then I like to spray the spray on the paper towels and wipe the leaves with the pest oil. So now our leaves are nice and wet. Um, so we'll wipe them down with the paper, ta with the paper towels one by one um, just to dry off the plant and try get rid of the mealybugs in this process as well. Now, once you get a mealybug, don't use the same paper towel to wipe the rest of the leaves with um, because you may potentially be spreading mealybugs all over the other leaves that may not be infested with mealybugs just yet. Now that we've wiped our leaves down and before we actually apply the pest oil to our plant, we want to get rid of any dead leaves. How we go about that is just by getting our pair of shears and snipping off any brown leaves or ones that you can tell that are dying off. So leaves like this, for example, they're no good. 
they're dead. So we want to get rid of them. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, but I've just taken off this strip of brown dead leaf and I can tell, you can see that there's mealybugs living on the bottom of the leaf system right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my cotton bud here and just wipe the mealybugs away. That's what they look like when you wipe them off. Sometimes they turn like a brownish color. There you go. This one's probably clearer to see. So it's still, it's still like fluffy white, but sort of with a brownish tinge. And I can see more mealybugs here. So this is what I'm talking about. These earbuds are great for getting in between the little stem and the leaves of your plants. I guess the worst part of getting rid of mealybugs is that they hide in these little crevices and you really have to go digging through your plant in order to get rid of them and find them. Okay, so now that we've dried off our leaves and also got rid of most of the mealybugs or the ones which are at least visible to the eye both on top under the leaves in between the stems just give the plant a good thorough check and look and really get in between those crevices with the earbuds as i've shown you before so now we're ready to go in with our pest oil so this one is a mixture that's already been made up so i don't need to add any water or anything else to this mixture and make sure that whenever you're using pest oil to treat your plants, that you read the instructions and manual on the back so that you don't do more harm than good to your plants. Now with this one, for example, it says that you can use this on roses, indoor and outdoor ornaments, which the Calathea is an indoor ornamental plant pretty much. Um, and you can use it on pests, which include scale, aphids, white fly but not in queensland i'm in sydney so this is irrelevant and mealybugs and you can apply it as required so hopefully this pest oil will work on getting rid of these mealybugs for good now what you want to do every time with whatever pest oil or any other spray treatment that you have for your plants is you want to give it a good shake before you use it and then what i like to do is you can either take your plant outside and spray it out there or if I'm spraying it inside I'll use my paper towels once again and I'll just spray the spray evenly on the paper towel and wipe the leaves with the paper towel. If you want you can use gloves during this exercise as well which would have probably been a good idea to do actually. Once you're finished thoroughly wiping down all your leaves with the pesticide, you want to take your plant outside and thoroughly give it one more spray with the pesticide and spraying both the top of the leaves as well as underneath the leaf and spraying in between the stems as well. Okay, I'm back. So I'm leaving my orbifolia outside just to drain and let any of the pesticide 
drip off safely and not inside my house. Also, I will be washing my hands thoroughly with soap once I'm finished with this video. So this pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Um, I'm going to be repeating this process, spraying the pesticide on the Orbifolia every five days probably, or at least once a week. Now it says on the bottle to repeat this process every five to 15 days. So therefore you will want to repeat this exercise at least once a week for the next, I would say, three, four weeks, maybe up to a month. Uh, depending on whether you're finding any more mealybugs on your plants and depending just on the general health of the plant. For example, a good indicator is if the plant does start growing new leaves and you notice that those leaves are somehow not as healthy or they're affected by mealybugs, then you want to keep repeating the process. Also, if a pesticide that you're using doesn't seem to be working, it's okay to change them up. It's okay to try one pesticide and if that one doesn't work, switch to another one. Not all pesticides work the same depending on where you're located or the type of plants. Also, some mealybug infestations or pest, ex or, or pest infestations in general may be more stubborn and, than other ones. So therefore, sometimes you have to use harsher chemicals than you would initially want to use to begin with. So this pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you've learned something here today and that you can take this process and apply it to your own plans and hopefully this process works for you. Also, let me know how you find this process, whether it works for you, whether it doesn't work for you, whether you've got any tips of your own that you want to share with the rest of us. If you've enjoyed watching this video, then please do give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe below to be notified of any future videos that I'll be releasing. So thank you very much for watching. Ciao for now.